something like that. So how, how long have we all known each other? Um, well, I've known you, Brad, since you started working at the Red Barn, so like two and a half years ago. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Hi, Brad. <laughs> oh, I was actually there when you dropped off your resume. Yeah. Yeah. And I sold my braces. You did. I was really scared of you. Really? Yeah. And... Am I intimidating? For sure. <laughs> I think anyone can be mm. when they're as calm and collected as you are, I think. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a little compliment, thank you. When was the last time you were really sad? Um, it was a little bit ago, like a week ago. Mm -hmm. I was really sad. How do you how do you recover from a sad thing? In my case, I think you, you rationalize mm. and you learn to not make the mistake again. Mm -hmm. And the growth puts you where you are. Thoughts, Yona? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's like, I'm not like, I'm not perpetually sad, but like, I feel like sadness is a really easy emotion to, to get. Mm. Like it's, it just comes really easily. Maybe just to me, I don't know. <laughs> but like, when I'm sad, I, like I eat. I was probably gonna do that. <laughs> but I definitely do that. Or like, hang out with some friends, as long as they're not the friends that are making me sad. Yeah, so you, you like de-stress. Yeah, just yeah. like stuff, you know, hang out with my dog, go on a walk, go outside. in like the 70s and 80s. Kodak got rid of it because everyone started shooting digital. Everyone decided that was kind of dumb. They got rid of it, so they brought it back. And now it's $30 a roll. <laughs> That's inflation for you. God, I love capitalism. Yep. What's the secret? The secret? Yeah. Is get your phone out, and then you open the camera app on your phone, mm -hmm. and you shoot. <laughs> okay. And then you take a picture of your phone. Yeah. While your phone camera's out. And that's how you get crazy cool depth of field phone shots. That's what they don't teach you in photo school. That's for free. <laughs> Well, you do. What was, what was those little beauties? Where'd they come from? Very cute. Oh, behind us. Since when is it 
called Vic Derman Park. I think this is Vic Derman Park. That's the Swan Lake. <laughs> Don't. Signs, Brad. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself sad, Ethan? Sad? Yeah. Nah. No? Not not most times. How do you how do you uh, how do you do that? I don't know. Maybe I'm always sad. That's the that's the <laughs> trick. Your secret. Would you say you're optimistic? I'd say so. Yeah. Looking at the bright side of life always. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, I'm always like not really worrying too much about what happens next. Not really holding on to anything that goes by. You know. Mm -hmm. Is there a trick to just like letting go of something? I don't know. It might be just like. I don't know if there's a trick to letting anything go, you know? Yeah. Like, what happens, happens, sure, you can leave it in the past, it'll still affect you. It still has affected you, right? Mm -hmm. You just have to recognize that it, you can't change what has happened. So it's like... So it's like, what's the point? Yeah. Uh, I may have screwed up, sure. Um, have I made amends? If you haven't, try to at least. And then, and then it's all good and done. That, honestly, might not be the best way to go about life, <laughs> but that's how I do it, so. It sounds pretty good. Jess, do you ever get sad? I do, yeah. How do you uh, deal with that? Like, I don't know, I view it as like the yeah, like we're all super like meaningless, like little tiny human beings running around like we don't really do much to affect the world. Oh. But like the we get significance from like being in other people's lives and like other people being in ours. So I find for me when I'm sad, I just like text my friends and like spend time with like other people, which is difficult. Or just like watch Netflix, which is basically like spending time with your friends, like just like your virtual images, fictional course, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I feel like otherwise I just like will lie in bed and just be like sad. So it's like value in, in your impact in other people's lives? Yeah, and like how they like impact yours and like, I don't know. Yeah, I could, and then like you just like will text your friend and be like, hey, like I'm really sad right now. Like I'm such like a dumb person. And they're like, what are you talking about, you dumb bitch? Like you're great. Like stop being sad for yourself. You're great. And like we, and like I love you. And I'm like, you're right. Why am I being like, this is fine. I need to stop self pitying myself. And that works for me, but you know, I feel like that might be a little bit harsh for other people, so. I like that. Thanks. So I, I was planning on closing out this video in uh, uh, maybe a bit of a different way, but um, the day today is the 15th of March. Things have escalated on the world stage as far as this, um, this whole pandemic thing, which is, it's a little bit of a daily anxiety sort of thing, but also it's it's uh, good for self-reflection because I'm totally fine and there are so many people ha having to deal with this and I'm okay. So big old uh, privilege check. Um, it's given me a lot to think about in perspective into how I can deal with my my stress and uh, anxiety and general sadness, if we can stay on theme. Um, 2020 has been a bit, a uh, little uh, hit and miss for me so far, and I feel like I'm sort of getting back to that level state. Um, and I think being content gets a bad rep. I think being content it can be associated with being like, um, complacent. I don't think that's at all what it is. I think being content is just that you're satisfied and you have the things you need to be happy, I guess. So yeah, in that regard, I, I think I'm just trying to take the principle of being content and putting it in this environment of uh, now I can't like leave my room a lot. <laughs> a lot of guiding principles and procedures at the moment have been the, the wait and see like close all the schools, close all non-essential, just wait it out, just put yourself in a safe spot and then and then you just wait and you see. <laughs> I've been really bummed the past couple months but then the last couple weeks I've come to terms with this idea of it won't all be bad, it won't suck forever. If I can just wait it out I'm gonna <laughs> take some time, I'm gonna work on some projects, play some Animal Crossing, I'm gonna watch uh, some shows. There's always opportunity for growth and improvement and change, which is the really cool thing about life. It's not static, like literally anything can happen and it's gonna be okay.